Hello and welcome to the short video of how you can discover your Azure resources with the, the Automonix sensor pack for PRTG. Uh, we are assuming here that you have extracted the files to the correct directory as seen here. Okay. Uh, and now I'm, I'm using the uh, UI, the Discover UI uh, of the sensor pack. It's here. Um, running it as administrator. Okay, here I have already have the app ID of the Azure, the subscription, the secret key, and the tenant, of course. Um, I would like to start the discovery, but before that, I just want to make sure everything is in place. So I will run the config check for a quick um, self check of what's going on. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, you will see your uh, subscriptions one or more, and the service status, which is able to connect to Azure, which is the important stuff uh, before we actually start the discovery. All right, so I'll um, apply these settings, even though it's already been saved, so it seems, and I will start discovery by pressing the discover button. Um, you will be offered to use all the discovery files if you have done the discovery already. Mm, if it was stopped or maybe you want to rediscover, then you just say no, I would like to run the discovery anyway. Okay, so they are being copied, of course, to some backup uh, directory, as you can see here. And discovery starts. Um, don't be alarmed if you see at some point some connection errors to Azure. This stuff can happen due to networking issues. So we'll have to wait for it to complete. It may take some time. Remember that um, in large um, deployments of Azure, there would be a lot of resources and we have to collect all this data during this uh, run of discovery. Okay, so just uh, let's wait for it to start running and um, let's see how it goes. So it's now found um, uh, quite a few resources in our um, demo environment and I will attempt to discover them and bring them in into the um, configuration UI so don't be alarmed if you see some error messages from time to time it's obviously might happen during the nature of communication with the Azure API so let's wait for it uh, for a while until the discovery is fully run um, and watch closely for this, for the messages area. So while the discovery is running, we can also watch the actual logs files and the data files being created. So I'm just going to look at the Azure subdirectory. And as you can see, there's a data subdirectory when you see the actual data being gathered here with the information of the discovery of the resources. And in parallel, there's also a discovery outlook where all this information is being um, uh, dis discovered, explained uh, in the log file itself. Um, yeah, some additional stuff we may see here is the actual report that will be filled and uh, created as soon as the discovery is over. So as you can see, Discovery is picking up pace uh, quite nicely. It still has some uh, way to go. So we'll, we'll just wait for it to finish up. Yes, and there's also another point to look at. Um, sometimes it, the bar is going forward and then will show you 74, 75% or whatever. And then it will go back a bit because we identify in real time, like here. We identified in real time that there are more resources, more metrics to discover. So with the estimated time to, to finish and also the percentage is also uh, extended as needed. So the percentage goes down, uh, down a bit. So we're ending, almost ending the discovery right now. Um, 96% were completed. So um, 
I did a fast forward, of course, for uh, not to wait too much for the discovery to appear. Um, eventually, we will see the score is ending um, and completed uh, results are being written. Um, and also, we will see a report coming out as soon as uh, it's all over with all the discovered elements and also including the ones that we couldn't discover from some reason, um, unsupported elements and so forth. All right, so um, we got the discovery completed. Um, you see this pop-up says, yeah, this is done. And um, behind it, we actually see the GUI open up with all the resources discovered. So the sensor column actually shows you the metrics we can um, add to PRTG. And uh, we have also the name of the device, uh, if there is such a device or a resource. Okay, we can search for it. So if I want to look for some SQL data, so here's here's some resources that have SQL in their name, or I would like to see the um, virtual machines. So we have some, um, not this one, uh, virtual machines. So we have some nodes for virtual machines, pretty quick. Um, I would like to add one of the uh, CentOS machines that I've discovered, of course. And um, apply three, adding three sensors to PRTG. Um, and here's inter an interesting stuff. So we can discover hybrid sensors. That means that we discover our own sensors uh, of the Azure API, but also can leverage the SNMP um, agents uh, discovered um, by the uh, PRTG core engine. Uh, so if you enable the SNMP on the VMs in your Azure environment, we can enjoy from that and actually use it as well. So we have more sensors of the same machine, more resources to monitor, the ones that Azure is not covering, for instance. Yes, so this is the um, uh, minimal uh, scanning interval. That's okay, we don't need to change anything here. And this is where we fill the um, information for our demo environment. So I will quickly uh, obtain my passage information as a user. I will look into my account. So here's the here's the passage, and I just will copy it. Um, to my window, so it goes. Right, and this is important stuff here, PRTG group, so I have to pick up the correct uh, PRTG group. Um, let's go back to my group. So the group called out to Azure, and you have to create it before you actually attempt to add these sensors. Okay, I'm pressing here, apply, yes. And now I can add them to PRTG. Okay, so the process starts, monitoring automation kicks, uh, kicks in, and then it starts to see the same actually progress bar and watch it it's here the CentOS machine was already created here automatically now I'm doing the auto discovery and addition of uh, net, um, of our sensors and also the standard SNMP sensors for PFG um, let's wait for it to, for a few minutes and uh, see the results so as you can observe we have already Azure sensors being set up by the automatic social sensors, monitoring automation did it already. Now it's the phase where we discover the SNMP on this uh, machine, if it was enabled. And if it's um, set up correctly, um, we will see the sensors coming up here as well, the SNMP sensors, I mean. So here we go. So basically we added the devices to PRTG, 
we can watch the report. On your left, you can see the sensors being uh, created automatically. So let's view the report. And it actually explains what was added. So you can see that all these information, some of it will have it already, so it's not added, but um, yeah, we were able to add this virtual machine with every resource we wanted. Um, so let's put it aside. Basically, we have CentOS machine running with all these resources. And they're bluish now. Of course, paused because of some uh, license limitations we have on this uh, machine. But um, as soon as we um, free some sensors, then it will be running correctly. So if we look on a, a previous machine, a Windows machine that we have discovered previously, so you can see along with our sensors, the Azure App Metrics and Service Health, we also see the general, um, you know, uh, out of the box sensors from uh, PLTG. So you can see a CPU levels in the graph, like any normal uh, device in PRTG. And along with it, we have the ping and the Azure app metrics as well. So all these metrics available for VM from Azure are available here. And you, we can complement them with uh, any additional SNMP-based sensors you would like to use, such as ser service, for instance, so um, and so forth. So thank you for watching our video and I hope you have now more information about the capabilities of our Azure Sensor Pack for PRTG.